Mark. So as Mr. Skulululu suggested, the Mamluks might be collapsing and com looking at the amount of rebels that they have everywhere, I think that's correct. I don't even see their proper army anywhere. So I think it might be gone. No, there it is. It's fighting the rebels. One of them. <laughs> Holy crap. Those are our pretender rebels. So this is like, um, they have a regency council? Yeah. Yeah, they have a regency. No, wait, Sultan Inal first Bure. He's 21. Oh, okay, so he was, um... He was a uh, low claim strength or something like that. Yeah, and his heir has a strong claim. Oh my god, their army is uh, running out of morale. They might beat the rebels, but they're slowly taking up more and more territory. I'm at war. With who? Uh, Hamid. Wait, you got the Fenike? You didn't even tell me. Oh yeah, I got Fenike. <laughs> and you're at war with Hamid? Yeah. And who else? Just Hamid. Really? Ah, oh, fuck you. I was scared that they attacked you, but you're the attacker. Crusade against Hamid. Yeah. Uh, the Ottoman Empire, or the Turkish Empire now, by the way, has a crusade called against it, as Mr. Skududus informed me, but no one so far has taken up the call and attacked them. But the Roman Empire is no more, as I can see. They got the Constantinople. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. God damn it. It's giving them so much money. Yeah. They're producing civil services. It might, quite far might for the still one. be futile against the Ottomans, really. Well, the Turkish Empire. But I'll try. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Germion has grown so much. Mm, they've lost their alliance with the with Turkey. They broke it with them for some reason. But now they won't get it back because Turkey doesn't like them. <laughs> They're hostile, so they won't give them an alliance. And Karaman is big as well. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen Turkey fracture so much. Usually the Ottomans have everyone, as they had a couple of days ago. Mm. And the White Horde is uh, continuing and pushing Lithuania. Mm. I've got uh -huh. like 60 years before Silifke is no longer covered, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'm afraid to look at the technology screen. Well, I'm not that bad. I'm 667. Spain is at 777. Uh, for some reason, Granada is at 778. You're actually, like, possibly a bit higher up than me. Uh... You're at 577, seven, and I'm at 667, six, so we're the same. But Turkey is at 779. Seven, Hunger is at 778. Seven, seven, the difference is not that big. I think I can keep it. Keep it at bay. That little, well, little. The Ottoman army, or Ottoman. The Manukian army of 13 is just hunting down the stacks of rebels each stack has six or seven as i can see now i wonder what's gonna happen with them do i have an alliance with them yeah i do ask for military access i could go and help them if i wasn't collapsing myself <laughs> <laughs> i have kabila separatists at 90 it's just awful. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah. I've got Sunni but, fanatics at 45. Well, I got Tunisian separatists at 40. I get Algerian separatists at 10. Sunni fanatics at 5. And Fezian peasants at 5. <laughs> it's just blinking here. <laughs> Rebel uprising. <laughs> oh, and I started um, centralizing. I forgot to mention that. Nice. Uh, I have a looming disaster. Centralization's effort 2.5, so 
in a couple of years because the decentralization of free is really fucking me up with the autonomy. It just gives them... Yeah, decentralization free is uh, plus 0 0.12 every month on every province. It's just not doable. Can I call... Oh, I can call the diet. Okay, one enforcement modifier and one maintenance modifier. That's important. He's now nowhere. Ask for, for contribution. Yeah, give me money. Oh god, what was that? Dude? Nothing. That was nothing. <laughs> something fell off. <laughs> and I'm gonna build something. Sarahan's uh, finally friendly, by the way. Really? Yeah. Good. It's good for you. I'm gonna build a constable in Ishivayan where I have the worst trouble situation. Because I really need to clear that. It's awful. Is it building there? Yeah. Uh, so, you will get Hamid, and then what? Um. Did you vassalize Teke, or is it separate? One is the vassal. Uh, you didn't vassalize Tekka, did you? No. No, I, no, I couldn't. I, I realized there'd be a vassal for like another hundred years. Like, um, like Sarahan will be. What about Hamid? Are you gonna conquer them or vassalize them? <sighs> Again, there'd, be, there'd have to be a vassal for like a hundred years, so... Can you... Did you convert? Oh yeah, you did convert, so... Marmaris. Are you converting Fenike and uh, Mugla? I'm doing Mugla. Fenike oh. is being called, and so is uh, Philadelphia. Hmm. Good anyway. I'm kind of uh, having problem with uh, Togard here. Do you know which one that is? It's the one below me. They conquered yeah. two more provinces in uh, in the desert. And now they no longer feel that my alliance is worth or, yeah, they broke it. They're hostile against me, and their relation yeah. is minus 36. I think they might be pissed at me that I took so much from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I could improve relation, but I think we already have. Yeah, we have plus 94, and they still have minus 36 of me. Oh, God. Oh, my loans are overdueing. This is bad. <laughs> Inflation's going up. I should check my inflation, man. I have 1.32. I could reduce it now. Oh, but I can core finally that last province caravan. Okay, so I'm finally coring all the provinces. Okay, well, I wish you good luck and uh, check back on you later. Yes. So we're back with the last recording of today's session. Uh, Mr. Skurududus did actually conquer Hanas. So his southern territories are growing. Yes. And I don't know how you got Philadelphia, but it's yours now as well. I didn't notice that. Yeah, uh, and yeah, the Romans had one place left and no army, so I thought I might as well just take it. <laughs> and Ionia. So you're, you're in a way... You are making progress because, well, you have you have a lot of provinces now, but you managed to make a sovereign territory. I I don't know if Ionia is going to be useful for you at all, nor uh, if Philadelphia will be something for you. But the sovereign territories are good. Yeah, I'm feeling confident. Um, Gomian's next. I'm going to try and utterly destroy them, like tear them to pieces, split them up. I'll release Hamid again, I think. And I'm planning on taking four places, if aggressive expansion will let me. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, let me guess, that's Orla, Tira, Aydin, and Sivrihisar. Yes, it is. <laughs> I have and an then idea. release Hamid, which is Axahir and Gunen, which will leave them with three places. Yeah. So I want to, like, 
destroy them pretty much next time. We'll see. That would work. How then... big is your army now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's uh, 5,700 men at the moment. How many regiments? Uh, seven. I'm at my force limit. I'm really That's... backwards now. I've like warded myself into the ground, pretty much. No, oh, but you didn't have a choice. I mean, that's that's not like I'm gonna do it for fun. Like you were in constant wars. Yeah, I mean, I'm still I'm still two hundred and thirty in debt. Two hundred and thirty, and are you are you like getting out of it or? No, I'm losing three a month. <laughs> I'll find a way. Well, let's hope because otherwise you're gonna bankrupt yourself. That would be a sad ending of the nights. It'll be fine. Well, for me, it's pretty much halfway done. Uh, all that stuff is just taking Figuk and uh, Saora, and Thompson will be gone. And I don't know if I even want Gabesh, Zurabva, and Misrata, and uh, the little cities around it, like uh, Jarba. And they might help me greatly with the trade, because in Barbary Coast, I'm now at 28%, and I'm starting to earn decent money. But I think much better would be to vassalize them, force them into uh, giving me powers, them against um, my enemies, and then getting Jared and uh, Togert as my allies. That would, I think that would be better. So having like three, three uh, allies slash vassals and having the all of Northern Africa as my territory. Then I guess what I could do is uh, go and attack uh, the Canaries if no one takes them first. And I don't know what then. <laughs> then just protect against Castile and Portugal, both forts and, and, I don't know, trading posts and stuff like that. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Mr. Scudududos, you know, will give me probably some good advice in that area because I'm just incorporating this all and having it as one territory was a big task, the mm. first one, and now somehow we have to hold it. I don't know. Castile will be a huge problem, and so will Portugal. Though, yeah. I don't think Castile... Yeah, Castile is neutral to me. So one yeah, that, they're eating uh, Granada, though. Yeah, different religion. Improved relations, 73. Have a claim. Aggressive. I could get them to around plus 50. But Portugal is uh, rival, rivalry. Has a rivalry relation, attitude. And they're at minus 150 now. So Portugal is the one that's going to cause trouble. Let's see. I need to build a decent navy. I have um, for some at nine yeah. <laughs> in navy. So I have to build a lot of docks everywhere. Yeah, England and France are at war, by the way. England and France? Wait, England and France again? Yeah, French Aquitaine War of French Unification. So France uh, is trying to get Aquitaine. Well, it's doing a good job at that. Yeah, they have like 30,000 troops. England has 10. <laughs> so, yeah, They're... I think England's going to lose that. Oh, well, just in uh, Angola's Moor, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that well, is over 30,000 troops. There's another thousand somewhere else. So. Or maybe that's the army that's fighting there. Who knows? Oh well, let's wrap it up here. Yeah. It was a good session. Yeah. Uh, we'll continue next time and hopefully it's gonna work out as fine <laughs> as the for now, you know. I'd be happy to have that. Yes. So goodbye folks. Join us next time. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 with me, Alpha by Omega. And Mr. Scudududos. We're oh. back with some more. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off. Man, <laughs> you people have no idea how hard it is to record it to, <laughs> and actually not like jump into each other's sentences. Yeah. It's awful. So, hey, we can see the knights on the map. They have yeah. The here. My name. Oh. It's there. But you're doing way better than I expected you to, man. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I can't remember what mess I've left myself in. Uh, I think the wars are over. The wars are over, but I think I'm just like like three or four hundred in debt. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were... Oh, I remember that. The, the yeah. money problem. Yeah. 
It'll be fine. I can, I'll work it out. Okay. Well, you have to keep us updated. And I like that the Cilicia is now a separate nation. Like, you can see it. It's almost as big as you, even though it's just two provinces. Yeah. And I've got the northern bits as well, remember? Oh, that's true. I own yeah. Philadelphia, and then I own Saruhan, really. Uh, that's true. That's true. This is part of you as well. Hmm. But I really hope that you can keep Mammoks at bay. Actually, thanks to the people who suggested things to us. We really yeah. appreciate it. Like, we didn't know that uh, if the knights get killed, they automatically uh, inherit Malta, which is, you know, good. Mm. There's Malta. And, uh, yeah, we're going to give a shot to that whole Carthaginian Roman conflict. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. So let's look at the world, man. Um, tell us about the situation. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, India, I can't really tell if anyone's got the upper hand in India. Maybe Bamanian VJ, maybe. It's usually one of those two. Oh, maybe Baha... Baha... Hang on, how do you say that? Bahmani. Bahmani, I guess. Bahmani. They Bahmani. look like they've got a few more provinces, so maybe mm. there. Um... China's just the... a clusterfuck of who knows what's going on. <laughs> but, but you have a theory about Ming inheriting... Yeah, other I, think, I think Ming's going to get in a war, maybe with Yuan again, take a lot more of de jure China, and then they can click an event which proclaims an emperor, and then they basically inherit everything. Which any of, any of the Chinese warlords can do, but it's most likely going to be Ming, because they own all the really wealthy provinces in the East Coast, so... Yeah, the coast is where the power lies now and in the past as well. Mm. So, I like Japan, so fractured. Yeah, you never know. It looks. I don't know how Japan works in this one. You know, I don't know. Yeah, if me it's neither. Different. I've not played in Japan in a, a long while. So. Uh, but you played it in the U four. I never played it to be honest. I yeah, have no yeah. Idea I've played it in the U four. I've played it in um, Veritas, another mod. Mm. which adds a lot more but there are some nations that seem to be growing there's uh, Akamatsu there's Ki there's Hokusawa and Shimazu yeah the Shimazu uh, and, and uh, for some reason Goryeo is for you know I thought it was uh, attacked but those are probably rebels mm, possibly hmm. and in Europe we have the Nov. oh my god Novgorod is really big Sweden, Norway, and Lithuania, and Poland just rocking it. Mm, I'm going to keep an eye on Lithuania because they techni well, they vassalize Smolensk and Bryansk, so they're actually quite yeah. huge. So if it ends up with them getting a tech advantage over the White Horde, they might start to get really big. Yeah. And the Livonian Order, for some reason, grown a lot, mm, too. Yeah. Mm. And I like how France is fractured. Like, oh, yeah. Aquitaine... Burgundy and Anjou, Brittany. I think in France is fucked. I don't think we're gonna see France. Are they not all vassals? Uh, no, I think they're free because remember they oh, lost no. their war with the UK. Oh no, they've got oh. vassals. Really? Armagnac, Anjou, Bar, Beauvoir, Burgundy, Comminges, Foix, Alencon, Orleans, and Valent. Valent. Oh. They okay, got well. lot. Okay, well. Burgundy is huge though. Burgundy is a huge. And UK, well, UK, I could call it UK, but England <laughs> uh, almost is UK after I think uh, it finishes Scotland. Oh no, after it finishes Ireland, it's gonna go for Scotland. Yeah, they've vassalized um, Butler, so there's only Tyra Connell left that's an independent Irish nation. <laughs> so, of one province? Yes. So... All the Irishmen running there. Oh uh, yeah, and in Africa, Mali is just big, and that's it. Oh, hey, I never realized they had so many nations on, uh, damn, on Madagascar. Yeah, there's lots. I found it was like one nation, man. They, they weren't shitting us when they said there were so many new nations. Mm, they added all of them around Lake Victoria as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. I like that. So what's your plan for this session? Um, Survive still. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, maybe take the rest of Teke and Gemian. Maybe take a bit. I would like to link up at some point. Uh, well, Germian 
would be a tough cookie. Uh, I think you can take Tekka easily. It's one province basically now. Yeah. And um, Germian is going to be a big issue. You have to avoid Turkish Empire at all costs. Once I, you, they yeah. get involved, they're fucked. Well, this is it. So if they start to get involved, I'm just going to have to try and move somewhere. It, even though I might move to Malta if I die, I, I don't want to die. <laughs> So. Well then, it would be a completely different play for you. Would have to become a merchant, you know, and, and just enjoy that wild blast. Mm. Well, well, for me, it's uh, it's actually just uh, well, we've spoke about it with Mr. Scudolul, and neither of us has an idea what to do <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I might either vassalize or annex Lansen and uh, have seed. And then I'll have to deal with uh, Togurt and Jared. I would like to have all these four as vassals at some point, though. I might take Tonson because I just uh, they're they're you know too painful to to have them like a <laughs> little nation. And I don't want to border uh, the Mamluks because I'm afraid that they will become my uh, my rival. So instead, I'm just going to focus on here and. Uh, I would like to get the canaries, and then I'm basically done. I'll just focus on, on growing and maybe get involved in I don't know Kewagar, maybe pheasant, I don't know Jared. I could you know try to like go south and get involved in the African mess, but <laughs> I'm already as decentralized. <laughs> Like, you guys know that I basically, like, in the real, if this was real world, I basically control part of the West Coast. That That's all. Yeah. And all the new territories are just completely independent on me. So, yeah, that that's about it. So, like, getting something like parts of Mali at this point is just completely worthless because I get nothing from them and they just are an extra burden. So I'll try to, to make this uh, northern coast and uh, the Canaries my hub. And just, just, well, what was the technology like? I completely forgot. Can you get the new map? No, you can't get uh, them here, right? No, not here. You can use just the development. So you can see the parts of Fez are really, well, some of them are really good. Like Fez itself, development 46. Yeah, it's pretty, excellent. Yeah, but the rest is just like awful. Tlantan is awful and Taurid and stuff like that, so... So I'll just focus on that and, and enjoy the peace. Now that we have the king finally after the fucking regency <laughs> broke my back. So yeah, uh, do you have anything to add or are we going to jump into the game? Ah, let's jump in. Okay, so we'll see you guys in there.